Have you ever thought about how a simple act of surrender can completely change your day? When we place our trust in God's hands early in the morning, He transforms even the simplest moments into great blessings. Today, I want to invite you to surrender this day to the Lord, believing that He is capable of doing extraordinary things in your life. If you are ready to see the power of God at work in every detail, let us walk together in faith, seeking the Father's direction. Pray with me in the name of Jesus and prepare to experience God's presence in a new and profound way. Imagine each morning as an opportunity for renewal, a gift from God for us to start anew. In Lamentations 3, 23 we are reminded, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. By dedicating your day to the Lord, you place yourself in the center of His faithfulness and goodness. The morning is the beginning of our daily journey, and when we start our day at the feet of Jesus, we receive the strength necessary to face the challenges that may arise. In Psalms 143, 8, the psalmist cries out, Let me hear of your unfailing love in the morning, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. This trust leads us to live in peace, knowing that God is taking care of every step. Dear brother, as you surrender this day to God, do so with a sincere heart, believing that He is already working in your favor, Allow every moment to be guided by Him. May this day be filled with the Lord's presence, and may you see divine blessings and opportunities in every situation. In the name of Jesus, number one, the power of morning dedication. Dear brothers and sisters, it is impressive how our mornings can influence our entire day when we dedicate them to God. By starting the day with reverence and gratitude, we are aligning our hearts and minds in the right direction, allowing the Lord to guide each step. Think of your morning as the starting point of a journey, like a seed that is planted and, with the right care, germinates and becomes fruitful. Similarly, when we dedicate our day to the Lord early in the morning, we are preparing the ground for His blessings to flourish throughout the day. In Isaiah 54, we read, The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. This verse shows us how God longs to speak to us from the very beginning of the day, so we can hear His voice before the noise of the world interferes. When we start our morning seeking God, surrendering our worries and hopes to Him, we are allowing His voice to be the first to guide our decisions, thoughts and actions. Morning dedication also serves as a moment of renewal. In Lamentations 3, 23 we are reminded, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God grants us a fresh start every day with new opportunities to experience His grace and mercy. By dedicating this beginning to Him, we are accepting this renewal and preparing to face adversities with faith and confidence. Create a morning routine that includes a moment of prayer, a verse to meditate on, and a time of worship. This doesn't have to be long, but it should be intentional. By doing this, you will be training your spirit to hear God's voice before any other, aligning yourself with His divine purposes. Often, we may be so focused on our own plans and goals that we forget that God has a greater and better plan for us. By entrusting our plans to Him, as taught in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We open ourselves to divine surprises, to blessings that surpass our understanding. 
It is important to remember that morning dedication is not just a religious habit, but an act of trust. It is saying, Lord, without you, I can do nothing. By surrendering your mornings to God, you are not only ensuring a more organized or productive day, you are entrusting your life into the hands of the one who can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. May we all seek the Lord as soon as we wake up, trusting that he will do wonders in every moment of our day. Number two, cultivating gratitude throughout the day. Dear friends, as we move through our day, it is important to reflect on the transformative power of gratitude. Gratitude is not just a passing emotion, but a conscious choice we make at every moment. It serves as a filter that we place over our eyes, allowing us to see God's blessings even in the smallest circumstances. When we choose to be grateful, we focus not on what we lack, but on what God has already abundantly given us. In Colossians 3.15, we are instructed, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. This verse reminds us that God's peace and gratitude go hand in hand. Even in adversity, there is always something for which we can be thankful. Each challenge we face is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to deepen our dependence on God. Throughout the day, as we recognize the small blessings, whether it's a colleague's smile, a gentle breeze in the morning, or the strength to face a problem, we begin to perceive how God is present in every detail. Gratitude, when practiced consistently, has the power to transform our state of mind and distance us from negative feelings such as anxiety and discouragement. In Hebrews 12, 28, we are reminded, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us hold on to grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Here, we see that gratitude places us in a position of reverence before God. When we approach the Lord with thankful hearts, our trust in Him is strengthened and our requests are presented with faith in His provision. One practical way to cultivate this spirit of gratitude is to keep a gratitude journal, writing down at least three things each day for which you are thankful. This simple practice can radically change your perspective and help you see how God is working in your life. Additionally, sharing your gratitude with those around you not only blesses others, but also further strengthens your grateful heart. By expressing your appreciation, you will be spreading God's love and expanding this chain of gratitude. As you practice gratitude throughout your day, you will find that your heart feels lighter, your joy will be renewed, and your intimacy with God will deepen. Remember, gratitude is a powerful antidote to daily worries. The more you train your spirit to recognize the blessings, the more you will realize how present God is in every detail of your life. Number three, ending the day with reflection and surrender. My dear friends, as we approach the end of our day, it is essential to take some time to reflect on God's faithfulness and to cast all our cares upon Him. Just as a captain reviews the journey of his ship at the end of a long voyage, we too should pause and recognize God's presence in every moment of our day. The practice of nighttime reflection allows us to see the Lord's hands at work in ways we may have overlooked throughout the day. In Psalm 91.1, we are reminded, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This promise assures us that when we trust in God, this exercise of reflection not only keeps us connected to His grace, but also helps us see each day as part of a larger and eternal plan. Surrender is another crucial part of this process. Often, we carry our worries about the next day, unresolved issues, 
or regrets about what we did or did not do to bed with us. However, God calls us to cast all these weights upon him. In Matthew 11:28, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Visualize placing your burdens at the foot of the cross, releasing control over what cannot be changed, and trusting that God is working even while you sleep. This practice of surrender allows your mind and heart to find peace and renewal. Consider ending your day with a prayer of gratitude and surrender. Thank God for all the ways He has blessed you. Ask for forgiveness for your shortcomings and place tomorrow in the perfect and sovereign hands of the Lord. A good practice is to write down your worries or tasks for the next day, symbolizing your surrender to your Heavenly Father. Dear friends, by adopting this habit of reflection and surrender before sleeping, you will find that your sleep will be more peaceful and your mornings will be filled with hope. When you wake up, you will have the assurance that God has been working for you throughout the night, preparing the way for another day of blessings. Now to all who are listening, let us together approach the Lord in prayer. I invite you to pray this prayer with me, opening your heart to receive all the blessings that God has prepared for you. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, loving and full of mercy, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. Your majesty fills the earth, and your love stretches to the heavens. You are the creator of all things, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. I praise you, Lord, for your infinite wisdom and your mercy that never fails. You are faithful in all your promises, and your compassion is new every morning. Father, I recognize that you are the author of life, the giver of every good gift, and that everything I have and am comes from you. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of this new day. Thank you for the opportunity to walk in your presence, to seek your will, and to live to glorify your name. Every heartbeat is a reminder of your goodness. Every breath is evidence of your grace. I am grateful for your guiding hand, for your daily provisions that never fail, and for your grace that sustains me in every moment. Even in challenges, I can see your care and protection, and that fills me with peace. Father, I confess my shortcomings and sins before you. I know I am often weak and fail to follow your paths, but I ask for your forgiveness. Purify me from all unrighteousness, cleanse my heart from everything that does not please you, and help me to forgive those who have hurt me just as I have been forgiven by you. Help me to reflect your love and grace to those around me so that I may be a channel of blessings and not offense. Beloved Father, at this moment, I dedicate this day completely to you. I place my plans, desires, and will in your perfect hands. I know that your ways are higher than mine. Remind me that you are in control and that all things work together for the good of those who love you. Teach me to reflect on your goodness at the end of each day, recognizing your presence in every moment and to cast all my worries and burdens into your powerful hands, knowing that your care is infinite. On this day, Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that I am blessed and that every encounter will be divinely orchestrated by you. I rebuke every plan of the enemy that tries to steal my joy, my peace, or distract me from the purpose you have for me. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirits of worry, fear, and discontent, and I cry out for a renewed mind, focused on your truth, goodness, and love. Fill me, Lord, with the peace that surpasses all understanding and guide my steps according to your will, so that all I do today brings glory to your name. Father, and every part of my being with your restoring power, I declare, in the name of Jesus, that I am healed by the wounds he suffered, and I am made whole by your grace. Father, bless the work of my hands. May everything I do today prosper and be fruitful. 
grant me favor in the eyes of men and open doors of opportunity that no one can shut. Give me wisdom to make decisions that honor you and discernment to recognize your leadership in every situation. I pray for financial blessings. I am grateful for every heart that opens before you now. We unite our voices in one faith, believing that you are hearing us and that your power is at work in our lives. Father, bless us with the strength to dedicate our mornings to you, to cultivate a spirit of gratitude throughout the day, and to surrender every concern into your hands at the end of the journey. May we finish each day in reflection and surrender, trusting in your unwavering love. In the powerful name of Jesus, we declare that our days are blessed and filled with your presence. We claim victory over every obstacle and challenge. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, empowering us to live lives that honor you. We thank you for your protection, provision, and guidance. May our lives be a living testimony of your goodness and grace. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You are blessed to be a blessing. Feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God, asking for His blessings and victory, and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world can join us in prayer for you. Stand firm in faith with us as we pray. If you wish to express your gratitude and help sustain our ministry, consider making a donation through Buy Me A Coffee. You can access it in the first pinned comment. Your generosity allows us to continue creating and sharing content that strengthens and inspires faith. Repeat after me with great faith. I have the right to be happy. If you believe this statement, write it in the comments with great faith. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.